All right, this is Awkward Occurrence for Awkward Entertainment. So we're going to run through some Mandela Effect memes. A couple of memes I found on the internet. So let's start in the left corner. Time travel using a quantum, quantum computer. Yes, it's possible. No, it's not possible. Um, computers can't play God. They can't reverse time. They can't move time forward. Um, a computer can play your video game or play a video or a computer can make real life looking videos that actually didn't happen. Stuff like that. Something like a video game simulation. So, no. A uh, quantum computer reverses time. No, no. There, there's nothing um, a computer can do to reverse or move forward time. There's no type of pulses or electrons. Nothing, no magnetic field that can be sent out through a computer that was built by metal, just pieces of metal with zeros and ones. There's nothing it can do to reverse time and bring back the dead or reverse the sun or move the stars backwards. There's nothing it can do. This is from American Dead. So on American Dead, there was an episode one Mandela Effect um, delusional person saw Jiffy. So let's see what it says. Remember J at the top, remember Jiffy Peanut Butter? No, they didn't change the name to Jiff. They never existed here. There goes that delusion. I believe Miss Broom herself states um, memory residue is only you receiving memories from par parallel universes. So you don't wake up in parallel, parallel universes, according, according to her. If I am to understand what's being said in those um, about her. Yeah, it's probably just a coincidence that American Dead aired this episode years ago, or is it? Investigate the Mandela Effect in all capitals. Okay, you want to investigate? They couldn't put GIF on the cans because... Jeff didn't pay them. That's why. That's why they use Jeffy. They use a similar, similar name. Just like when you see like a McDonald's on the cartoons, it's not made, named McDonald's. You see another peanut butter brand with no name. You see jelly at the bottom with no name. So let's continue. Yeah, that's why they put it on there, because it was um, advertisement. They're not getting paid to display Jeff, so they just put Jeffy and put the colors. That's, that's all all it was. Like Jeffy, McDonald's, Burger King, they got to pay these people to put their name in cartoons. Let's continue. Sun 666. So in Geneva, Switzerland, near Geneva, Switzerland, you will see this God. This is not a God. This look like a Hindu, a Hindu God named Shivya. With all the arms, however you pronounce her name. Um, she's not Father God. She's not a God. She's a spirit. Then they got Son with all the sisters inside. But somehow they think Son is there to twist time. Or Son is there to build a time machine. Nah, dawg. There's nothing but zeros and ones connected to a bunch of metal. That's not God. They can't play God. They found a God particle, but these people under Mandela Effect spell, they don't want to accept the um, reason, the reasoning behind the God particle, which is adding mass to particles. If you don't understand what that means, fine. It's not time travel. You cannot time travel by hooking up a computer, then setting a big piece of metal next to that computer and punching in a bunch of numbers. Like something electrifying is supposed to happen. Right. We're going to send off some magnetic field shocks. And those shocks should just send everyone back in time. Now everyone will feel like as if they're standing still, daydreaming. Then they're going to wake up 
And it's gonna be a different time. We're gonna go back in time. Ten minutes. No, no, no. You will never hear that in real life. Only in the movies. They talk about magnetic fields, quantum fields. Only in the movies. Star Trek. Star Trek. Star Trek. Ah, <laughs> right, that's Shivia. Okay, anything I want to add to this? Let me see. Sign controlling the mind. No, uh, we're missing with a lot of things. However, the one thing we're clearly attacking more than anything else. It's combined as King James. Okay, let's do the King James Bible one. So there's there's dozens of translations of the Bible. I mean, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, so many translations that sometimes you're not gonna see the same words, but they're gonna have the same meaning or near the same meaning, depending on who translated it. That that is all this is about. They say CERN is attacking attacking the King James Bible. What version? Aren't there like three versions of it? I don't see it, Luke. Act turn the uh, change of why no. So I'm not gonna go look up Matthew six twelve. I'm not gonna go look up Luke nineteen twenty seven or Matthew nine seventeen or as Exodus thirty four fourteen or Genesis three fifteen, all those and all. Again, they have a different Bible. So let's find out. Now, what is this? The Mandela Effect, CERN controlling the mind of the masses. Right. Now, that isn't even spelled CERN or abbreviate for CERN. Anyway. Fruit Loops has always been Fruit Loops. So, just looking at a bunch of delusions again. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to get ready in this out because I cannot be... Like, no. We pretty much get it. We pretty much get it. Again, Jeff is, um, Jeffy has always been Jeff. American Dead couldn't put it in a show because Jeff didn't pay for it, so. How do I want to end this out? Alright, this has been Awkward Occurrence or Awkward Entertainment, and I will see you in the next video. I know this bridge. This place is real, isn't it? Yeah, I cross it every day to get to the college. Never recreate places from your memory. Always imagine new places. Well, you gotta draw from stuff you know, right? Only use details, uh, a, a street lamp or a phone booth, never entire areas. Why not? Because building a dream from your memory is the easiest way to lose your grasp on what's real and what is a dream. Is that what happened to you? This has nothing to do with me, understand? Is that why you need me to build your dreams? Get off of me. Back up. Back up. Ah! Get off of me.